um, water pumping stations and places to buy drinks. And, yeah. This is pricing. Let's see a venture ticket. I did a standard zoo admission, which was $17.75 plus tax because there was no train. Hey everybody, Tom here for Beyond Walt Disney Planet. Today I'm at the Louisville Zoo in Louisville, Kentucky. This is my first time in the state of Kentucky, therefore it's my first time here at this zoo. I'm excited to be here. Uh, this is a good sized zoo. I'm going to show you the map just one moment. I'm going to take a look around. This is my first stop on my 2019 road trip. So I will be adding videos to this channel coming up quite a few of them if you like to follow along I'll mention the different stops at the different destinations that I go to so let's go check out the map all right so here is the map unfortunately the train is not running about a month or so ago they had a sinkhole event on a portion of the zoo property and as you can see the bottom portion of the train goes through a tunnel it is near uh, the sinkhole area and they have to make sure that all all safe so unfortunately you won't be able to go on the train ride but fortunately for us the train does not take us to any areas where animals are only viewed from the train so anyway gonna go start on the outer part not really sure where I'm gonna start yet but there are certain areas inner part that are air conditioned so I like to probably keep that for a little bit later because I'm most likely to be hot so I'll let you know where we're starting in just a second all right I just got myself a souvenir refill bottle for $5.99 uh, I am on a caffeine free regimen right now because I'm attempting to break my addiction to soda. So I got uh, sweet tea that just happens to be decaffeinated. And if you are familiar with my channel, I usually get a souvenir hat, different places that I go to. So this is my Louisville Zoo souvenir hat. <laughs> also helps my head from burning because I uh, have a hair deficiency if you will on top of my head and it also gives me a nice souvenir uh, under $20 for the hat okay so this is a smaller version of the big map that I showed you earlier so I spoke to a lot of people a lot of different guests that have been here before and um, most of them recommended going to the left like I said the train stations here but the train is not running as I spoke about that before so I'm gonna go see the larger animals and the smaller stuff is more to the right air conditioned areas so I'm gonna save that for a little bit later when it is hot it's supposed to be uh, upper 80s lower 90s which is nothing because I'm from Florida so it feels really really good to me anyway so let's go see what we can see. So the first little spot I come up to is the Madagascar section that has all the different lemurs. All right, so we got ring-tailed lemur. Looks like King Julian. All right, now this is their impressive habitat. Lots of places to move around. So let's see if I can actually find one of the lemurs. There we go, we got two of them. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> nice ring tail lemurs. They're so cute and fuzzy. The one down on the ground. Just chilling. Like I said, the guys got a nice, nice space to move around. Because look like they're hugging each other, sort of. I wanted to give everybody fair warning. There are a lot of school groups here today, as it is the end of the calendar school year coming up in the next few weeks for the area. So I will do my best to film the animals that I see in the exhibits. 
when there are few people around, but I can't guarantee it. So if there's a lot of talking and yelling and screaming from the children, please understand that's what kids do. Okay, they have a very nice animal themed carousel called the Conservation Carousel. 350 per ride. Adults are also able to ride because it's a good sized carousel. I already got some warthogs. Or some pumbas, if you will. So we got two of them over here munching on some hay. Looks like they are enjoying themselves. They get themselves a nice cool mud pit here. See all the little hoofy prints and the water that they can lay in when the sun comes out. And they got a nice pond there to wash all the slime and gunk off them, I guess. The ducks are enjoying that as well. Bye Pumba! And right across from the warthogs, we got the southern white rhinos. A rhinoceros. Get one large rhino laying in the shaded area. Just relaxing. Alright, you got the giraffe house. A side giraffe and a kapje. Got rock hyrex. Got a couple of them here. Now this is the inside building, so we might get loud in here. All right, so this is the inside of the giraffe house. Obviously, the giraffes are outside. This is their indoor viewing areas. All right, so these are going to be Maasai giraffes. I see two larger giraffe and a little smaller, younger giraffe towards the back. Looks like they got a nice area to walk around. There's other viewing areas, so I'll get a little closer view as I move around. When I was in the giraffe house, our white rhinoceros got up to walk around. Splash around in the water. They're never up when we come. They're always sleeping. Hey, Maya. Mommy. We've never seen one. Maya and Mommy. Maya. Look at Andrew. Very, very good view. Mommy, get to be one. Nice up close view, which is nice. Yeah, he's pretty big, isn't he? Yeah. Kind of steep, too. This enclosure has a waddled crane. So he's towards the back, so I'm going to try to show him to you. Well, there he goes, coming a little closer now. When I first walked up, he was all the way in the back. Very hard to see. Good to see this guy's not camera shy. Got the little dealy bobber hanging down by his chin. All right, following the path past the giraffe house, got the Escorn Garden. It's always nice to enjoy nature. Got some seating areas in the shade, different placards, lots of nice flowers and plants. Very nice scenery over here. All right, the animal sounds like a musical instrument, a bongo. Yeah, we got quite a few. And they have gathered a nice shaded area. Another one on the other side of the rocks. Do you see what I see? I always thought Disney was the only place you get a Dole Whip. Well, you can get them here at the Louisville Zoo as well. Huh, I never knew that. So you get your non-Disney Dole Whip for $3.99 or a Dole Whip float for $5.99. Got butterflies and blossoms, but unfortunately it opens tomorrow and I won't be here. Womp womp. So I apologize, folks. But this is the location of it. 
following the path to the left of the main entrance. If you'd like to see some butterflies or blossoms. So the Saharan Adax, critically endangered. This is the main purpose of zoos, people, okay? I know there are some people that do not like zoos and think that all the animals should be free. Well, zoos do have a purpose such as this, critically endangered species that would otherwise be wiped out due to habitat loss or poaching. A lot of places, the zoo is the only place you will actually get to see these animals. It's like we got three of them. <laughs> These guys are just chilling out in the dirt. Get back on Nickelodeon. Along the wall in the Adox pit. You have a nice big tortoise. Alright, elephants. We got African elephants. With their larger ears. And we also have Asian elephants with the smaller ears. Alright, this young elephant's name is Mickey. A little bit bigger than a mouse, though. All right, Mickey is following his trainer. You see the whistle? I'm sorry, it's a her. I apologize. It's a female Mickey. Very, very nice looking elephant. Alright, and towards the back, we have our female Asian elephant, you can tell by the smaller ears, and her name is Punch. As in Punch and Judy, or Fruit Punch. How y'all doing? Good. Y'all have any questions? Anything you want to know about the elephants? It's the Harry Fraser family elephant encounter. Where they allow uh, feedings out of the elephants to the sign disappearing giants. These are killed for their ivory tusks. As I stated before, what the Attics is endangered species. Right they cross on the elephants, there's a little alcove. On the other side of the giraffes, where they have feeding and ride tickets available. Camel rides are $7, or you can feed a giraffe for free. There's the feeding area. So from this vantage point, you get a lot better view of the giraffes because they are hanging out in this vicinity because they know this is where they get some food. You see a young giraffe here and a little one here to the left. Appears to be a little shorter. Hi, baby. How you doing? Hi. Are you disappointed your toy store show, you know, shut down? Does that make you sad? Does that make you sad your toy store went out of business? Yeah? I was disappointed too. Yeah, he thinks I have some food. I might try and eat my camera. I'm not careful. It's like, feed me, I'm hungry. Come on, let us be patient, right? Yeah. Sorry, stupid joke. I think Giraffe liked it, though. Was that a good joke? Can you give me a guess? He's not saying. I think he doesn't want to hurt my feelings. We've got some reserve camels here waiting for riders. These are one hump camels, as you see. And right next to our giraffe feeding area, they got African Lion. And he's doing just as his name suggests, he's lying down. Sorry, I got the bad jokes today. Very majestic animals. So this is the male lion, you can tell by his uh, mane going around his head. I do not currently see a female. 
But the nice thing with their enclosures is they have steps that go down to the bottom portion so they can roam around the lower part as well as the higher part. Now this is a Hartman's Mountain Zebra. I don't think I've ever seen this particular subspecies of zebra. Usually it's a gravy zebra, you know, that I see in most zoo. So this is a Hartman's Mountain Zebra. And they're in the back. I'm not sure if it's the lighting, but they seem to have a, look like they have like a yellow tinge to them. Or off-white, if you will. Again, it might just be the lighting. And I'm actually standing on a bench to try and get a better view of our zebra. So unfortunately, this is the best angle I'll be able to get for the time being. All right, so this area of the zoo is called the African Outpost. All right, African Outpost Restaurant. This is one of the restaurant sit-down areas. Get a bite to eat. Stuff from the grill. Hamburgers, hot dogs, chicken nuggets, things like that. Yes. Also got pizza slices and kids meals. So beverages. So all day long my silver refills will be $1.49. Alright, meerkats. Oh, I don't have that pictures anymore. It's like seeing these little guys. Oh, okay, fine, they're not keep My god, you're so cute and fuzzy. Just want to pick them up and pet them. Stick one in my pocket and take it home. I wouldn't really do that, but just saying, you know. Oh, I'm running around. Hey, meerkat, how are you? Uh, we saw Pumbaa earlier, so one of these guys has got to be Timon. I don't know which one it is. Another one playing. Over in the shade, here comes his little buddy. Yeah. Little bundles of energy look like. Got the African Outpost Playground. Various climbing and sliding things. Swings, seats for parents to rest. This is really nice. Kalo Bridges, building bridges to protect Columbus monkeys in Kenya. So that you can safely cross the road without getting hit by scooters and or vehicles. All right, so we got black and white Columbus monkeys. Let's see they're all in here. And we got the Different trails to go across. There it goes. So there it goes. Oh, how funny. Zooming around. Got some handler over here. Possibly giving food. But these guys have plenty of room to climb and swing. There's also a Schmitz red tailed monkey. Let's see if I can see one of them. This is a red tailed monkey. He was inside. Well, the Columbus monkeys are outside and uh, this guy's in here. Another guest alerted me to the presence of these two up here. Looks like the one is being groomed. Looks pretty satisfied. Oh yeah. <laughs> Like, ah, yeah, that's the spot. <laughs> <laughs> very comfortable. Look at that. Oh, you missed a spot. Gonna go check out the petting zoo. It's called the Boma African Petting Zoo. The entrance and exit for the pony rides and the goats is in this little hut. The nice sitting areas and really nice murals. Alright, I found a location for the pony rides, which are six dollars or five dollars if you are a zoo member. This is one of the Milan's little ponies. This is Bella. Bella, hi. Say, I like food. Doesn't every, doesn't everybody. Doesn't <laughs> everybody.
You know, as much as I want it, you know, it's never going to be My Little Pony, though. Gosh, you know. Sorry, I got the bad jokes today. And right next door to the pony rides, you got goats that you can pet and brush. These are called Nigerian Dwarf Goats. Hanging back by the door in some shade. Enjoying life? Are you? Yeah? Goes get a nice scratch. It's like that's the stuff, yeah. Oh, look at that, man. I'm enjoying this. <laughs> All right, very important to wash your hands after touching the animals. Hand washing station is provided. We also have hand sanitizer. Oh, right past the African outpost playground, you got the gorilla forest. They throw out these bamboo filled trails to get multiple different posters up. Giving you more information about the different apes. The mighty silverback. And family life. So they very graphically have show how the hippos fertilize the forest. You can see where all the trail goes with all the bamboo. Very nice looking. All right, gonna go see Hippo Falls. Okay, I see a hippo, but he's behind the waterfalls and he's laying in the water. It's of course something that hippos usually do. You can see the top of them right there. Just relaxing. And his habitat is aptly named Hippopotamus Falls. So I'll try and check back a little bit later, see if I get a better view of them. We're going to go inside the gorilla sanctuary, see if we can find some of the gorillas. First off, I apologize for the noise. This is an inside exhibit. They can see one of our gorillas. Right up top. Taking a nap. Up there. Big feet on the post. Apologize for any glare. We got another guy over here. He was just having a nose snack just a second ago. Luckily, I missed it. All right, this little side enclosure has the mommy gorilla. Side play area. Place to climb and relax. At the end of the trail, you got Bomasa Curios or Congo Trading Post. Small gift shop you can get assorted souvenirs, shirts and hats, and lots of plush animals. More additional plush animals. All right, we're gonna go see some tigers. Let's we'll see snow leopards. All right, a mer or Siberian tiger. We're looking for the tiger down below. See how nice and hilly the terrain is. But I found our tiger laying in the grass in the shade. Apologize for the glare. There we go. 
Well, it's very comfortable. <laughs> nice kitty cat. All right, I am very impressed with the different enclosures that these animals have. The Louisville Zoo. They use the hilly terrain to their advantage. So this tiger has lots of space to roam around and water to go in. All right, the snow leopard overlook. Did you go to Chicago? All right, snow leopard. So snow leopard has lots of rocks to climb on. All right, this is the lower portion of the snow leopard habitat. All right. So I was looking for the snow leopard and he's right up here on the rocks, partially hidden. Find a nice spot in the shade to relax. Love the design of this zoo. Really, really nice. Some of the railroad tracks that take you around the perimeter of the zoo. And this is really nice. On the other side, they have this nice sign. Snow yep. Leopard Pass. Maybe. All right, Glacier Run. Polar Bear Haven of the World, Sea Lion Watchers Paradise. I like both of those things. Got this really cool vintage piece of equipment. Not really sure what it's used for. Some sort of uh, tractor. Caution, active. Receding Glacier. That is the sad truth, unfortunately. This is going to be Seeding Glacier. So the polar bears have a nice large area and plenty of toys and stuff to play with. Just the upper portion. You can see the water. All right, inside this enclosure, you got a grizzly bear. Again, I apologize for the reflection. I may camera up against the glass to try and help cut down on it, but it's glass, so. This is a grizzly bear. Quite a nice cool spot to lay down. Actually, I have three grizzly bears according to this signage. But I only see the one. This is the polar bear's water area. You also have a viewing area down below. Oh, there he is. The polar bear. Okay, so I'm on the other side. I was over there. So you get a view from this vantage point of above the water and also below. See, our polar bear is swimming around. I can only imagine the water being nicely chilled. I just wanted to give you another visual of how nicely all the different habitats are the Louisville Zoo. I'm gonna go with the underwater part. Get a, see if I get a nice view of our polar bear. Our underwater area. Where the polar bear was underwater digging. So I assume they have some sort of food or treat there for them. Just keeps going back to the same area. I get a little better view. It's not distorted. something there for him to munch on. So I have a gray seal, 
and a harbor seal. All right, got our seals. Yeah, there we go. Now it looks like they have a informative sort of performance. Maybe tell you about the animals, I'm sure feeding them. Swimming around. So your other one is further back. The Louisville Zoo does have a splash park, a glacier run, however it is not open for the season yet. But this is what it looks like. So right next to the splash park, they have the men's and women's restroom, Kuka coolers, and Wild Burger. All right, menu inside Wild Burger. Any idea what they have? All right, so back behind Wild Burger, they got Billabong Playabout. This is another one of their playgrounds that have lots of climbing and sliding things that the little kitties like. Maybe while the parents are eating, kids can come back here and play. Got some geese walking across the road and they got a baby with them. Oh, Hi baby. Oh. Oh my god, how cute. How cute. Going over to play. Or oh, this one's a daddy. Anyway, before I was surprised by the geese walking across the road, I was going to show you guys the train. They have two of them. Yeah, look at a nice family. Mommy, daddy, and baby. Oh, this one's hissing at me. I'm not going to. I'm not going to hurt your baby. Thank you. Not going to hurt your baby. I promise. Yeah, nice family right there. Taking a baby out for a walk. Right, right across from Wild Burger is Rainbow Springs Wallaboo Walkabout and Lower Kate Landing. Alright, well, Lower Kate Landing at Rainbow Springs is apparently closed today. But right around the back is Wallaboo Walkabout. And luckily it is open. I don't know why I'm waiting to get into the Wallaboo Walkabout. Gotta wait for the handler to come let you in. Get a good view of the emu. Because he's in the back. So this is the emu. Alright, signage here. <coughs> Alright, a kookaburro. Trying to get a good view. See behind these bars. Nice little birdie. This is called a towny frog mouth. So our towny frog mouth. All right, we got a red-necked wallaby. It's right here off the path. Mixing them with the yellow flowers. Not permitted to touch them. Oh, oh, got an itch. Got an itch. I guess I got a wallaroo. Got one up here. Yep, I just looked down and saw another one. Taking a nap. And one just behind the shrubbery and trees. There is our sign for our emu. Got an emu. It's a different emu from the one that I showed you before coming in. How's it going? <laughs> Alright, next up we got a guanaco. Alright, that is zoom all the way out to see our guanaco. Because you're along the side fence. 
Looks like this for freshly mowed grass, not the guanaco, you mean, yeah. But they're hanging out in a little bit of shade that they have. So these two have lots and lots and lots of room to roam around. All right, we've got a jaguar. The animal, not the car. She's up on a little deck, gets her off the ground. Gets a little bit cooler that way. But she is beautiful. Love all those little spots. We've got a high kent macaw. Looks like we got two of them. One's nibbling on its feet, and the other one's cleaning its feathers. Oh no, there's three in here. Yeah, there's three. All right, this is the old snow leopard's habitat. So they got a really, really big upgrade. So they will renovate this and put another animal in here. And we got our Chilean flamingos with their lovely pinkish plumage. Man, that wouldn't get annoying fast, would it? And these two right here are called Crested Screamers. I wonder how they got that name. I don't want to find out. All right, the Flamingos girl walked away, so I'm going to show you them more. Flamingo! Flamingo! All right, I'm just kidding. How could you imagine? <laughs> Cats of the Americas. Plus birds. Alright, they got a couple of follically challenged eagles here. Also known as a bald eagle. Oh, these birds are beautiful. Yes, sir. Very, 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 very beautiful birds. All right, we got a puma. Another of the big kitties. Hi, puma. How you doing? Hi. I'm sorry, I don't know your proper name. Wow. Very, very nice cat. Hi. Nice kitty. Nice kitty. Are right, you a nice kitty cat? Yeah? It's like, leave me alone, I'm walking. All right. Have a nice day, anyway. Bye. Don't get your feet wet. All right, so I've seen a lot so far. Bring you back to the map. Because we just saw the Cats at America's exhibit, which is right here. Our main wolf is a no-show at the moment. So I'm going to head this way and check out this area right over here. Alright, they have a ropes adventure course. Seems to be all the rage nowadays. All different places I've gone to, they have a ropes course. Alright, going to go check out the Herp Aquarium. All right, we have a black piranha. There he is. That is a black piranha. Wow. All right, we got a Philippine salton lizard. I'm sure I like it. Uh, resembles an iguana, but it's an aquatic lizard. Hanging out under the water. I'll pop up occasionally to get a breath. Hey, there he goes, going up to get some air. Here we go. Oh, we got a spotted turtle. Right there, man, his name is dead on. He's definitely a spotted turtle. Got 
So Madagascar hitting the cucarachas. Big giant cockroaches. Can't hear him hissing, but you know, uh, I have seen them up close, and they do in fact hiss. Not like a cat hisses, but they do make a hissing sound. Got a crested gecko. Tried to get a better view, but he is right here. You see his eyeballs. All right, Salmon Island Leaf Frog. There's our froggy right there. The fish of the Amazon. All oh, the different fish that are in this tank. This giant thing in the bottom is called a dolphin catfish. Wow. Again, I apologize for the reflection. This is a loggerhead or also called alligator snapping turtle. You can see how huge this thing is. He's definitely a snapping turtle because he will snap your fingers off if you get too close to its mouth. This is King Louie, the rare white alligator. Let's see him down there. Now I have seen rare white alligators in Gatorland in Florida. I also saw one at Fun Spot in Orlando. If you'd like to search for those videos under my channel. The giant toads, they got giant problems. This reminds me of the toad that Neville Longbottom had in the first Harry Potter movie. Got a Madagascar tree boa. Now, oddly enough, our Madagascar tree boa is down on the ground, not up on the tree. We got a green tree python. A lovely green coloring. Matching perfectly to the plants that are near with them. Oh, we got a Honduran milk snake. Now he has some really, really nice coloring to him. Yeah. Got a rainbow boa. There he is. I don't know, man. I don't, I don't see the rainbow colors. Got an Asian box turtle. Nice sized turtle. Just hanging out on his rock. Got a gaboon viper. There he is in his hollowed out log. All curled up. This tank has two snakes. We got a timber rattlesnake and a copperhead. There are two different types of snakes. The timber rattlesnake is the one that's on the left, and the copperhead is the larger of the two. Okay, I was corrected. So our copperhead is a smaller snake on the left, and our timber rattlesnake is the larger of the two. So, my mistake. I also got two snakes in here. We got a red chicken snake and a black rattlesnake. Alright, so at least these two are easier to distinguish because that is a red colored snake, so that's a red chicken snake. And then in the back, we have our black rat snake. Yeah, we got a cottonmouth. Definitely don't want to step on one of these guys for out walking in the woods. There you go. These guys are all over the state I live in, Florida. And these are the savanna animals. So you got an Angolan python. Nice coloring. So it'll blend in with his environment. All right, we got a Romulus Komodo dragon. Playing in his flowers. Wow, 
Okay, there he is, coming out. Got a western hognose snake. It's actually cute looking. Got a rock rattlesnake. There he is. It's a rock rattlesnake. I'm gonna call him Rocky. And this tank has a snake with no name. See, because there's no placard there. So it's a mystery snake. If anybody knows what this is. Put it down in the comments, okay? There's, no, there's a snake. All right, this next group is from the diurnal desert. Guys, signage is getting faded. I guess people rub it up against it. Anyway, it's a night desert cobra. This guy is shiny. Got a California king snake. There he is. And his crown must have fallen off somewhere. Here we got a tiger rattlesnake. But he's got that name because of his stripes. That's actually pretty cool. I like it. His next animals are from the underground desert. It's called a sedan plated lizard. Got two nice little lizards in here. Got one up here on the rocks all by himself. And this one down below. He's just walking around but he stopped. Got some endangered critters right here. Eastern Diamondback Rattlesnake. She wasn't aware these guys were endangered. But they can control rodents. So they're good to have. Alright, this next area is called Islands. Got an orangutan. Got this beautiful orangutan right here. Wow. Wow. Oh, it's beautiful. What is that? This is a beautiful ape right here. It's a monkey. Alright, got a Sumatran tiger. Alright, you can see our Sumatran tiger having a little cat nap. Looks very comfortable. I got a Malayan taper. All right, this is our Malayan taper. It's got uh, panda bear coloring. It's got the black and white. And cute little nose. Obviously, likes water. All right, we got an Aldabra tortoise. Oh, we got two large tortoises. Very nice. See one of the tunnels that the train goes through. All right, exiting from the islands takes me back to the front of the zoo. So I have continually made a loop. Some people go to the left, like I did. Other people go to the right. Starting with the islands. Alright, so showing you the map of the zoo again. This is back where I'm at, right here. Okay. I just came from this way. Penguin Cove was a no-go because there was no penguins. So they're already inside or whatever. So this is the way I went last time with the giraffe house. Now there were a couple animals as I was going around the zoo that were not available or they were in areas that I couldn't see them so I'm gonna attempt to go back to a couple spots where there was no animal at the time and see if I either get a better view or maybe find out where the animals not there right, this building is called the Meta Zoo school groups come here you have a couple animals in here So we got Virginia opossum. There's our opossum, he's sleeping. Don't let him wake 
wake him up. Just be real quiet. Yeah, this is cool, a black-footed ferret. That is cool. That looks kind of like a mongoose. He's so cute. How cute, look at that. You got some bearded dragon. Thanks for A couple of guys in here. All right, now I can't go to a zoo without filming the actual wildlife. Uh, you can leave it open. It's a gray squirrel. It's actually open for a different color squirrel because it's the same color squirrels we got in Florida. Bye, squirrel. All right, so right at the main entrance and main exit, do you have the main gift shop? It's the gift shop I came into this morning and got my hat. So it's a traditional standard gift shop, has all different merchandise, from shirts and hats and plush, picture frames, small little knickknacks, animal themed stuff of course, more expensive items for uh, the, the grown-ups you get for your house or office. And the display they have right as you walk in has a lot of selection of the different items you can get. Alright, so I had a lot of fun here today. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing the zoo from my perspective. Like I said, a couple of the animals were not in their enclosures even when I went back the second time. I always go back to an enclosure if I didn't see the animal the first time around. Gives me an opportunity to see it. If I missed it, maybe they were sleeping, maybe they were in the back for some reason. I always recommend if you're at a zoo to go back to an enclosure later on if the first time you were there you didn't see the animal you wanted to see. Alright, so the zoo closes to entries at 5 o'clock. Everybody has to leave the zoo by 6. So if you're going to come here, the zoo is normally open every day from 10 until 5. But if you're already here, they're not going to kick you out unless it's past 6 o'clock. So the Louisville Zoo was a lot of fun. This is one of the top zoos that I have been to. The exhibits were fantastic. Very, very well maintained zoo. A lot of different animals. A couple that I've not seen in other zoos, subspecies. So that was nice to see something that I don't see in every other zoo. So thanks for watching. Leave a comment. If you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.